Soup in wintertime. What's more New England than that? What is it about soup? It's warmth, it's love, it's compassion. I, I make the best soup. In fact, Bridgewater, Massachusetts is home to the Soup Man, also known as Peter Kelleher. He's usually hunkered down in the kitchen of this local church, infusing the air with the aroma of his rich and meaty brew. I have a basic recipe, uh, all-American hamburg soup. How long does it take you to make? About a half an hour. To all put told, it everybody yeah. come in? 45 minutes. And how much soup do you end up with there? 32 quarts. Wow. 32 quarts loaded onto Kelleher's food truck for the homeless. On this day, Kelleher drives to nearby Brockton, a regular stop on his route. He's surrounded by a team of volunteers and his dog, Koji. They love it and they come back for seconds. Kelleher makes sure the soup has hearty, protein-rich ingredients. Carrots, string beans, I might throw a little kale in it, hamburg, a little pork. The seasoning's proprietary, huh? Yeah, I do use a lot of garlic. That's Be careful, it's, it's awful oh, hot, no. Freddie. This is a gift that I have got to push my mission. I have no fear. No fear because Kelleher says there's not much to lose when he has already lost so much. Travis, here is Kelleher, my son. It all starts out with choices. It all starts with something small, and then it goes bigger, and it gets bigger, and it gets into addiction. Travis became addicted to opioids, then became homeless. Travis was funny. He had a big heart, but he had the demon, and he had no control over it. You know, his childhood wasn't the best, and neither was mine. Um, and that's just like so many families. I grew up in a dysfunctional family. You know, I'm lucky I survived. Um, he didn't. In 2016, at age 33, Travis overdosed on the streets of Bangor, Maine. His father didn't know how to channel his grief. He put aside his doggy daycare business and decided to feed the homeless. I was a wreck. I needed to do something to give back. And I, I love to cook. And so I built a soup station for my pickup truck. That Saturday I made soup and I did it for about six weeks. All by yourself? Yeah. A lot of people noticed and the soup man was born. I think it's delicious. It's the best soup I've ever had. It's very filling, it's very yeah. hearty, especially in this weather now that right. it's a little chilly. In 2018, Kelleher established an official 501c3 nonprofit. Support the Soup Man gives away clothing, soup, and other food items. Kelleher also brings mobile showers to communities in need. He's fundraising and applying for grants to broaden his organization's reach. All right, it's awful hot. Yeah, I got it. This is your life now. This is my life. A 2019 study from the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development says that more than 18,000 people in Massachusetts are homeless. In Kelleher's opinion, the most effective fix is quick, on-the-ground action. It's so simple for people to help people. Believe me, I'm not the easiest person to deal with. I'm outspoken. Sometimes I don't like to listen but it's where my heart is. His team of volunteers knows that and helps him stay organized. How does it feel at this point on a personal level? I'm proud of what I'm doing. Yeah, I bet your son would be proud of you. Yeah, yeah, but we keep one thing in mind that if I hadn't lost him, I wouldn't be here. This is how I deal with my pain. He's making me a better man today. He's making me a better man. Wow, inspiring man, helping so many people. Mm -hmm. And that is Chronicle for tonight. Thanks for joining us. I'm Shana Seymour. And I'm Anthony Everett. Have a great evening. Hope to see you back here again tomorrow night for another edition of Chronicle at 730.